Welcome to Asset Plan Machinery. Today we're going to overview our Steel Master Industrial NC press break that's had an Aussie icon CNC retro kit. Uh, our Steel Master Industrial press brakes are uh, generally a two axis NC press brake. This particular one is a 3.2 by 90 tonne. NC control, but what we're showing you today is a locally retrofitted CNC controller that we can put on any of our NC press brakes. It basically uh, converts it to a 2D, 3D graphical uh, controller and it also then offers uh, a servo drive control. So we'll put the right around the machine itself and then we'll introduce Chris who will run through the control itself. So we can put this control on any one of our standard NC press brakes. Uh, we can have a, a retrofit done within several days and uh, on a truck and yeah, to, to your workplace uh, very shortly, giving you full CNC control. This one that we've powered up is going to a trailer builder up in Sydney. It's a 3.2 by 90 tonne, still much industrial, absolute press brake. So 3.2 uh, long. It's got a, a 80 mil uh, multi-V bottom die block, segmented top gooseneck tooling, about a 320 throat. But that's just the general uh, overview of the machine itself. Front sheet supports. Uh, we fit these with, with Kelly uh, laser safe uh, guards so the operator can work in nice and close to the machine, which is good for small parts. Around the back of the machine here, uh, on our, all of our Steelmaster press brakes, we have an open back design. You know, so you can basically get in there and get your parts, but also be safe. Once you break those guards, you've got to uh, turn the safety button back on just over there. But this just gives you the overview of the back of the machine. Uh, Two axis controller, Y for the down, X for the back gauge. We've got standard four fingers on, on the back gauge. And the motor down there, that's a little servo motor that uh, that we've put on there to uh, to basically speed up the Icon CNC controller. So back around the front again. Uh, Chris will run you through the, the controller itself. And uh, just over here. So this is, this is the Icon controller. So Chris will run you through the 2D, 3D dimensional CNC controller now. So we have our ICOM 100 uh, CNC controller, it's running Windows 10. Um, I'll just give you a brief overview on some of the features. So uh, to draw a, part, a new part, it's all touch draw. We just uh, put in our shape. And we set our last length, say 50 mil. And we can just easily change our angles. So, that one sequence as well. Now, with a lot of other controllers, you normally have to manually sequence it. This has automatic sequencing. So, if we go to find sequence, it'll actually find the sequence for you. So, it's now sequenced the bends, and we can simulate the part. And it'll give you a simulation of the job before you actually run it. So some of the other features are, is our tool library, all the different tools and guides. We also have it in 3D as well. So if we go back to 2D, 3D on the main screen and tools, all of our tooling is in 3D. Go to guides, it's the same thing. So if we now go to, uh, we, we, we can now go back to our job um, and we can run our job. You see our main run screen. Uh, it has an um, energy saving feature as well. So the pump will turn off when you're not using it. And then when you're ready to use it, we put our foot on the pedal, the pump will start. First step, come forward to a second step. So I turn next to position. Another feature of the controller is that it has an automatic calibration for the Y. So each day if you want to run um, that to get repeatable, accurate bending, have an automatic calibrate feature where it will wind itself to a limit switch and set the, the correct position. 